In today's video, we're going to design and build a camera slider. The point of a camera slider is to take really smooth shots. It's difficult to move the camera in a fluid motion by hand, so we're building this camera slider for it. This is a prototype. My true goal is to eventually make a motorized slider. This was just a proof of concept for me. I hope you guys enjoy the build. The parts needed for this build are two PVC tubes, three quarter inch OD and two to three feet in length, a quarter 20 tripod bolt, a skateboard bearing, two skateboard bearings actually, and a two meter long GT2 timing belt. All of our other parts will be 3D printed. One of our parts just finished printing. Let's see what it looks like. Booyah! The 3D printed parts for this project are two stands, one of which shown here. It's got mounts for the PVC tubes, a mount for the skateboard bearing, and a slot for the timing belt to fit through. It is printed in black, and this stand's printed in orange because I ran out of filament. Here's our second stand. It fits also two PVC tubes. It's got the slot for the GT2 timing belt and holes top and bottom for a pin to slide through, which we're going to mount the skateboard bearing to. Here's our hand crank. Spins on a skateboard bearing. I already pressed the bearing through and I can't get it back off, so it's included in the 3D printed parts. Here's our tripod quick release plate. It matches the profile of the plate that came with my tripod. Here's our camera mount. It slides along the PVC tubes. The hole in the middle is for a quarter 20 bolt. And top and bottom, I've printed in the profile of the timing belt so that we can couple it to the camera plate. This plate here glues to the bottom of the PVC tubes as well as to the tripod quick release plate for mounting and holding the tube straight. This is a GT2 timing pulley. I can't take credit for this model. It was pulled off Thingverse and I will link the part in the description. And finally, we have the idler. This glues to a skateboard bearing and allows our belt to pull through smoothly. And there's two pins, one of which fell off the table.
Okay, here's the camera slider. Seemed to come together pretty well. Uh, I only had one shot at it because I was using super glue. Um, yeah, bolts next time. I'm gonna get some small hardware for these projects. Uh, so the way this works is turn this wheel and the camera slides really smooth. And um, I'm gonna mount this to that tripod, the plate here. And I'm going to show you guys what we can do with the camera slider and why I wanted to build one. Thanks for sticking around through the whole design, guys. Uh, the camera slider's done. It worked. Uh, works honestly better without the little pin in the hand crank. Whatever. I wouldn't put an expensive camera on it because, you know, we built it with super glue and PVC and really hollow plastic. But for that webcam right there, you know, it works just fine. Um, if you like the design, smash that subscribe button. Stick around for more. And uh, until next time, happy designing, guys. I'll see you next video.